Hi everybody, so this event, um, I'm going to be talking about um, pros and cons of individuals. So now, now as everyone knows in, in um, like, you know, um, like in general, like, you know, when you, when you discover someone you just met or, or people you live with, it could be anyone. So, so as you know, everyone, you know, everyone has their pros and cons as an individual. So, um, people think that pros and cons are usually of, um, of businesses and, um, reward programs and all that stuff, but pros and cons could be for anything, um, uh, could be for a city that you live in, um, it could be, um, an area that you live in, like a countryside, city side, you know, and there's also, um, there's also some of, pros and cons of every, of anything, even people's personalities. So, I'm gonna discuss, um, people's personalities as a, as a way to, to vent about this, because I have a, because there's something that a lot of, a lot of the gen generally just needs to be be um, said. Um, I'm, I'm not naming names on on what I think of people personally. <clears throat> so, no further ado. <clears throat> we as individuals have pros and cons. Like I do, you know. I have. I def. Don't get me wrong. I have my. You know. I have my my awesome pros. But I also have my my bipolar cons, um, which can be like it could be like temp short temper cons. But um, <clears throat> so so with no further ado, um, there are certain individuals that I know personally that have definitely have their pros and cons, um, and um, and don't don't get me wrong. Some of the individuals that I'm really good friends with, you know, they, you know, they're they're awesome as individuals, but there are definitely cons of each single person that I'm friends with, um, and even strangers too. Some, some people think like strangers are always gonna have cons. Not all strangers are gonna have cons, but the, but neither are pros. So you have to get to know an individual, or because you could represent yourself as a stranger, like whether it's a good way or in a bad way. So let's talk about pros and cons as individuals. So as you all know, with me, my pros are definitely producing music, you know, the, the way that I'm, my pros are, you know, knowing how to make good music, knowing how to like really good at gaming, you know, really good at gaming, you know, one of my pros is, you know, very enthusiastic about gaming, music, um, um, DJing live, you know, and, um, what's an, another pro of me is, like, I, I genuinely care about people, like, if you, I genuinely care about people, even, even if I have a really tough moment with someone, um, you know, there are people that I've admitted that I've been tough, that I've been tough with, which will be discussed in the cons, um, later on, so, um, so you know, as uh, as an individual, you know, even though I can have my rough rough moments with some people, I still care about them at the end of the day. So um, so you know, I my pros of being me is being genuine, loyalty. You know, I I yeah, mainly mainly just genu genuine 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 and um, loyalty. Um, someone who's down to earth. Um, someone who doesn't judge someone at all even even if they made some of the really um really bad mistakes so um and and another thing is that i am very like i have a good knowledge of stuff like example like like i am very very understanding of the autism awareness because as you all know i'm an autistic individual so um so you know there's pros and cons there's you know there's lots of pros for it in person so you know and um you know you know stuff that i can understand and you know my sixth sense of sixth sense um like i feel i feel someone's emotions more than an average person so example like let's say someone is sad i can feel it and know what's wrong so that's kind of like a not everyone has that as a as a as an individual a lot of autistic people have that 
that sixth sense, like an intuition that that you know something's something's not right and all that stuff. So so that's that's what's about. So that's the the pro of me. Like you know, I understand people. I you know I you know I'm fit. You know I you know I work out and all that stuff. Like all the posts that you see, other than a r venting, ranting, etc. You'll see a lot of pros on my on my social media and all that stuff. But I want to talk about my cons, um, and and this is something that uh, that a lot of people need to to know about and to accept as a person. I am gonna be honest, um, and this makes me a better person. I admit that I have my own cons, and and. And I'm not saying I'm not saying that all the cons that I did is right. I never said I'm not saying that what I do is right at all. But if you can't if you can't handle if you can't if you can't handle or understand or you know just 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 flat out like like just doesn't like doesn't doesn't give a shit about what I say. You as an individual can like you know you as an individual that's a con of the individual because like yes some some of the decisions decisions or the mindset that I do sometimes is um not always the best, you know. I do admit that I can be a little hard at times. But if you can't accept that as accept the cons of an as an individual, you are genuinely not a b the better person like it kind of makes you look worse than the person's cons alone because um because i have the because and i'm not afraid to tell anybody this up front because i've talked told a few people that if you can't accept me as um someone who goes through a lot of cons on stuff there's some people who still put up to it you know and i do admit that my my mother puts up with some of the cons that i do and you know and you know she does she um you know and i'm glad she does because because you know she's one of the only people in my life that that genuinely cares she might not like the way that i handle some things but you know she she at the end of the day you know she's my mom so <clears throat> so so with no further ado my cons are being being semi -bi bipolar, um, the only reason why I'm gonna call it semi is because my case of bipolar is pretty is is kind of mild, because um, because like you know one minute I can be really happy um you know, but um unless something inconvenient happens I I'm usually just a fine person like you know I'm just happy as is um but. If, like, example, like, I'm just joking around and someone gets angry about it, that's when the bipolar hits because I will get mad. Um, so, you know, it's just, a, it's just a trigger. Like, you know, I get triggered by stuff easily. Getting triggered is one thing that I easily get. So, con, it's not always a bad thing, but, but generally I get triggered easily over some things. Um, doesn't always mean, doesn't always mean it's a bad thing. Doesn't, it's not always emotional. It's not always, um, being mad about it. Although, um, some of my, some of my triggers are, like, laughing so hard at something that, that shouldn't, that I shouldn't be laughing at. So, so that's, so I'm guessing, uh, you know, getting triggered easily. Another con that I have is, um... You know short temper as you all know like yes i do have short tempers you know um naked negative energy is the is the perfect way to to for me to have that short temper the reason why i'm gonna say it's oh it's it's a big it's a it's a perfect example is because um because one not all of us are gonna like any individuals, you know, which is which is okay, you know, you don't have to like me, nor do I have to like you. But if you put that negative energy and making someone feel bad, it's coming right back at you, you know. That's the type of person that like, you know, I come right back at you with the with a short temper and 
and try to tell you off. Um, and that's it's not always a bad thing, but I do tell people off at times, especially especially on YouTube. Um, mainly on YouTube, but I do have a few others that where I tell people off um, elsewhere, but my, mainly on YouTube because because unfortunately to this day there's a lot of YouTube people, not YouTubers, but there's a lot of YouTube trolls that try to act so badass, but they're not when they're not. A lot of the people, a lot of the trolls on YouTube are pretty much just children and you know and and you know and and I do admit that some of them have made threats um because of something over something and trolls you know and and I'm going to be honest you know and I'm going to be honest here right I'm going to be upfront about this um while threats are usually taken seriously on um in general on YouTube and I'm going to be upfront about this on YouTube it's you know, it you know it seems a little silly. It's a little interesting, but it's shocking but true. A lot of the threats on YouTube are, in in generally speaking, they're all talk and no bite. The only reason why it's all talk and no bite is because the because the trolls are pussies to to even to even say something to you to their face. And I know about this because I've been I've been a YouTube for 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 almost eleven years now. So. So I know that experience, and and you know I was fourteen when I first started it. So um, so yeah, so that's another short temper thing. That's like short temper, like just anything, like negative energy could be um, could be like an insult. Well, insults aren't really something that'll get short temper easily. However, to some insults, insult like you know if it becomes derogatory, that's when you trigger me. That's when the short temper comes. Um, another short temper that I admit that I do, that's that comes out pretty brutal, is uh, physical altercations. Although I don't, although I don't always fight physically, but when I do, my opponent ends up with some form of injury. So, like example, like the dude um, who I mentioned a while ago, you know, he you know, he made a racist comment and hit me first, and I and I and I brutally. I punched him in the face three times and he had he had a he had a blood he had a blood um cut on the circle of his eye and i mean it's not inside his eye but it's like around you know he had a blood cut right there and you know obviously you know obviously you know when i fight someone and then when they try to say something you know i'll throw i'll find i'll find liquid i'll find i'll find you know objects or stuff and i'll throw it at them so one of my cons is I'm guessing you could say violent because I could I could come out violent. I could come out um I could come out pretty aggressive um at times. So and um and it's usually pretty easy. I I'm not going to call this like I'm not going to call this like a very um, a huge con, but I sort of like I kind of manipulate or slash lie about something, but it's not it's not in it's not in the it's not to make myself look fake or whatever. However, however, there are people that I've that I knew that did a lot of terrible things, like you know, example like you know pedophiles. Like I've seen I saw one down the street uh, a few years ago. You know, he said he wasn't doing you know he wasn't like you know he said he wasn't doing anything, and then I kind of like manipulated um him to like you know you know like saying that like, like you know kind of like playing a certain way to make him to get him to get him under arrested um which like which did it which just we did turn out pretty well you know i kind of like lied saying like he did this you know like or something like you know something to get him to to get him arrested like i kind of like manipulate to give some people justice so that's one thing so and you know, you know, I just, I just have a very, very tough childhood. So that's probably why I have several cons that I do. And at the end of the day, I'm a human being. You know, we are all human. And some of the cons that I have, I kind of learned to accept. And it's not always a bad thing. So, so, but if you can't, if you can't, if you can't accept your cons, you are not going to be the better person. So. That's that. 
see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.